felony hit and run with a crash straight out of the TV shows uh, where the defendant fled the scene, causing brain injuries to our client. Find out more. I'm here today with one of our attorneys, Thomas Osbalt. We're going to talk about one of our recent, like, recent client victories Thomas had for his client, ED. Thomas, tell me about the accident and, and how this um, accident occurred, I guess, for, for ED. This accident was pretty wild, and it kind of extended beyond an accident into something else, uh, criminal conduct. Here, the uh, adverse driver was uh, making an improper turn, uh, failed to yield the right of way, and caused a head-on collision with our client going at at least 30 miles per hour. Just basically whipped a U-turn right in front of her and smashed her uh, right in the front of her car. Wow. The force was so strong that it you know, slung our client's head and neck into the headrest and threw her glasses across the car. And she put her arm forward towards the dashboard to try to blunt the impact, uh, but she felt her arm joint essentially stove into her shoulder and neck and also stoved her knee into the dash as well. Uh, so at this point, the two cars are connected together. The collision is so strong that the cars are basically linked with by bumpers, just smashed together. And uh, the, the driver here didn't stop to help. She didn't see to make sure if our client was okay, but she instead threw the car in reverse, hit the gas, threw it in drive, hit the gas, threw the car in reverse, hit the gas oh, yeah. three or four times, jolting, jarring, shaking our client and making things much worse than they were. And then uh, she was finally able to get herself out of there, uh, the adverse driver, and then fled the scene of the accident. You know, she didn't exchange information. She didn't call the police. She didn't call an ambulance. She just had no uh, regard whatsoever wow. for our client. So she was essentially charged with felony hit and run and uh, made the Thomas made the police department spend a lot of time and resources uh, executing search warrants or executing arrest warrants, excuse me, for the driver and passenger. Wow, that um, sounds just like a, uh, a TV show. Uh, I mean, you, that's just not yeah. something you see every day. Somebody act that crazy. Um, how, was, how, was, how was ED after, the, after all of this, uh, this collision? Yeah, she uh she was in a state of shock for for quite some time. I'd say probably about the next two weeks. She uh she didn't seek medical treatment because she was essentially already diagnosed with some post traumatic stress disorder, and this had uh, triggered that and made it made it worse. When she had an incident that happened years ago where she was hit by a drunk driver, and this sent all those memories flooding back. So. She, uh, she didn't get treatment right away, but she had migraines, dizziness, fatigue, numbness in her hand, so debilitating she could barely get out of bed. And you know, I had more than a few conversations with her during that time, just checking in on her and making sure that she was okay. She was eventually able to get to an orthopedic doctor. Uh, she was complaining of neck pain, shoulder pain, elbow pain, back pain, right hand pain, headaches with dizziness. Uh, yeah. She was also having forgetfulness, uh, aphasia, which is the loss of ability to understand or express speech which is caused by brain damage. Yeah. And she also uh, had so much damage to her right arm, uh, so weakened and numb, she couldn't lift or carry her purse. Wow. So uh, she, she went to an orthopedic doctor and got some, uh, got some pretty good treatment there. Yeah. And what were they able to do for all the, uh, the head injury type stuff? She treated with a neurologist and, you know, at that point in time, after she got some neurological treatment, uh, she had had some additional um, symptoms of a, of a brain injury appear. She had ringing in her ears, uh, irritability, uh, speech articulation, difficulty, and uh, the doctor believed that she was suffering from a cerebrospinal fluid leak. Uh, she was diagnosed with a concussion dizziness and giddiness, as well as a few other symptoms. And the, the doctor performed a specialized, it's called a BNG or balance study. And that revealed that she had suffered significant impairments in regards to her balance, uh, ability to perceive and uh, basically make sense of, of the world around her in terms of being able to move and operate in that world. Her balance and vestibular system were all impaired by what happened here. That sounds awful. Um, you, you know, from the, uh, the, this whole thing sounds terrible. I mean, you know, from the way the, the crash occurred, you know, the, the back and forth and the behavior of the defendant, I mean, the injuries, um, you know, and then afterwards, what were you able to do for, for ED? How were you able to resolve yeah. this? We were able to get this resolved with a $75,000 settlement 
and uh, that was fifty thousand dollars from the person who hit her. And then uh, ED did what every client should do, and that is she paid every month for the med pay coverage. ED had twenty five thousand dollars in med pay coverage that was available to basically go right back to her in terms of, of her bills. So she pays every month. And if she's involved in a significant incident like this, she got that money back. So since our client had over $25,000 in bills here, she got every dollar of that back from, from her med pay coverage. Right. Um, so when you said 75,000, was there any more you could have went after? Or was that basically the whole insurance that was available? That was every single dollar that was available here. We got Fifty thousand dollars from from the driver here, and uh, twenty five thousand from our client. Again, yeah, every single dollar that was available, we get, we were able to uh, recover here. All right, so uh, that's a wonderful uh, you know teaching point or, or point to talk to our clients about. I mean, med pay coverage is pretty cheap from the insurance company, you know, from your own car insurance. Uh, and if you're in a terrible accident like Ed was here, it sounds like it. I don't want to say saved her, but it clearly made things a whole lot easier. Uh, than it would have been if she hadn't had that that med pay coverage and i'm sure she get if you were to run an roi on what she paid versus what she got out of that med pay coverage it would be pretty a pretty great great recovery i guess i would say uh absolutely wow i mean um it sounds like a terrible collision i'm glad you were able to help her glad you're able to get things resolved and and i'm glad uh, ed had that med pay coverage you were able to to tap into an excess for her to get a settlement um what would you tell our listeners about this case or something you learned uh, from this one? Or is the med pay the main thing? I think the med pay is important, but then it's, it's also, you got to be able to find an attorney. And that's what you got here with Shane Smith Law is find an attorney who's willing to be diligent and following up with, with the insurance adjuster. Here, when we started out negotiations, the first offer that we got was $16,000. Oh, wow. And it was met with an immediate reply. Hey, you got to You need to review your file because it's quite obvious that you haven't looked at it. And so instead of just letting the case sit there and not responding and not attending to the case, was able to follow up with that immediately, put them on the spot to do their job. They did their job eventually. Took, it took a minute or two, but they did their job eventually. And we were able to get every single dollar for the client. So just being willing to, to put the insurance folks, uh, just being able to make the insurance folks do their job, essentially. It's, it's a large yeah, part so, of what we do, but you got to have attorney who are after it. So, I mean, it went from 16000 to $75,000. So obviously a, a massive swing uh, for the client uh, from your work. So good job there. Um, from our listeners, uh, thanks for listening. Remember, if you're in pain, call Shane, 980-999-9999. Or can order our free book, The Victim Survive a Guide to Car Accidents. Um, We'll be going over another client victory next week. Hit like and subscribe down below so you don't miss anything. In pain, call Shane. Nine eight zero nine 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 eight zero nine 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 nine. Shane Smith Law. In pain, call Shane.